The family of Justin Schilling is honoring the legacy of their son and his love for bowling with two upcoming tournaments in Waterford this weekend. It is promised to be a fun event with an even more incredible purpose, and that's to raise money for the Chooch Foundation, a nonprofit created in memory of the Oxford High School shooting victim. Tonight, Justin's father, Craig Schilling, is talking exclusively with 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels about how the foundation came to be and what he hopes to create in the community with the money from these upcoming tournaments. For many of us, bowling is maybe a hobby or something to do at birthday parties. But for the Schilling family, bowling has always been much more than that. Specifically this month, it is a way to help those in our communities who are struggling with their mental health. Having your own bowling shoes, cleaning your ball between throws, nonchalantly bowling strikes. These are all signs of a serious bowler. There's so much to a bowling. And Craig Schilling is showing me that the Schillings have always been serious bowlers. You bring your family into the things that you enjoy, and then you had that time to enjoy them together. So and that's kind of why I brought my kids into it. One of those kids being Justin Schilling, who notoriously bowled a 257 in middle school after walking into a tournament late eating Taco Bell. The coach of the middle school started a new award. It's called the Taco Bell Award. After Justin. Yes, basically. His big claim to fame with bowling was he brought joy to everybody around him while he was bowling. Including his dad, Craig, wearing his son's bowling jacket today. Justin got it as a member of the Oxford High School bowling team, a team that he was on with another Oxford High School student, one that is now known to have struggled with mental health and had problems that were not properly addressed, one that on November 30th, 2021, took a gun into school and fatally shot four of his classmates. Justin was one of them. Nobody really knows what to do when you have like a hole like this in your life and you know you fill it with with things that keep you close to your loved ones and, and that's what we try to do with the chooch foundation you may have noticed it on craig his sister kim and bowling coach lafner shirts it stands for caring and helping others often creates hope craig tells me that chooch was justin's nickname this nonprofit is his way of keeping bright justin's legacy alive and this is where things really come full circle on april 20th and 21st the chooch foundation is inviting community members here to Century Bowl in Waterford to take part in these bowling tournaments to raise funds for the Chooch Foundation. All those funds will go towards the foundation creating free mental health programs in the community. To me that is incredibly powerful to have gone through what you went through and then continue your son's legacy by working to help others who are struggling from mental health issues. It is difficult. You don't know how everybody else feels and um, you don't know what can happen and, and unfortunately what happened to me and my family and others up in Oxford is something that you know could have been avoided with a little bit more attention. Craig's ultimate goal for the foundation is to create that attention by building the Chooch Center for Mindfulness, a mental health community center fully staffed with mental health professionals and therapists, a comfort zone available for anyone who may need it at any time. He tells me that he knows this is an ambitious goal, but believes it's bowling tournaments, something Justin, the only middle schooler who can bowl a 257 while eating Taco Bell loved, can help make happen. An entire community center dedicated to helping people with their mental health. What do you think that Justin would have thought of that? I think he would have been mind blowing. It's one of the things that really hurts me the most is that knowing that you know he's not there to be able to um, have that effect anymore, you know, but I'm happy to slide in there for whatever time I can to, to help establish a, a legacy in his name. You can find all the information you need about the Chooch Foundation's upcoming bowling events and all of their summer events with this article on our website. In Waterford, Sarah Michaels, 7 Action News. Wow, I hope a lot of people come out and bowl and support that because what a, an amazing thing his dad is doing oh, to keep his son's memory alive. Transforming his pain into change. It's a pretty incredible. I like that line. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they should use that. <laughs> okay.